It's small, medium, large. I refuse. Ooh, I smell it. it. Smells good. I love when the Dunk or Dunkin' or Starbucks usually opens their window when you're getting stuff. It smells so good. Starbucks is secured. Dunkin', here we come. <laughs> Where's Dunkin'? That must mean this thing is not popping. There's no line. The Charlie. It feels so weird ordering something named that. Okay, so Dunkin' Donuts has a new cold foam drink. We are going to be trying it out today. We are going to see which one's better. So we got the Dunkin' cold foam, and then we also got Starbucks cold foam. Cold foam is definitely a Starbucks move. They've had cold foam for a long time. Dunkin's a newbie to the game, and already I see a flaw. The Charlie is supposed to have cinnamon on top, so we ordered cinnamon on top for the Starbucks equivalent, and we got it, but not for the Charlie. So Dunkin's already messing up on their own drink. So our first drink we have is the Charlie cold foam. This is a caramel cold brew with cold foam on top and then it's supposed to have cinnamon on it but it doesn't. So let's see how it goes. It's really sweet. Let me try. Smooth. It doesn't have that strong like cold brew taste. It almost just tastes like iced coffee. Cold brew is not strong. Yes, it is. Cold brew is smooth. Ooh, every time I drink cold brew, it's like a strong no. coffee flavor. It's smooth. That, that's why people get it. It's because it seeps overnight and it's like a smoother, usually less bitter and smoother drink. Sometimes with chocolate. It notes. is really smooth. Yeah, it's not bitter at all. It's good. I, it almost just tastes like a caramel cold brew. I didn't really taste the cold foam. Yeah, I didn't taste that either. Okay, so that was the Charlie for Dunkin'. Now this is the Starbucks equivalent. And we asked for cinnamon on this, supposed to come with it. Duncan just forgot it. So this is a caramel cold brew with the cold foam on top with cinnamon. I taste the foam in this 20 times more already. After drinking that, it makes me realize I don't even notice the foam in this. Don't you even taste the foam immediately. You even feel the foam. It's almost, is like more strong on top, I guess. It's almost, it's like milkier and like watered down. I think the foam on this is 10 times better than that. I actually like the cold brew from Dunkin' more, but this one has better foam. They're both still real smooth. I don't know which one you think is better. <laughs> I'm thinking I like Dunkin', the Charlie cold foam better. The drink as a whole or just the foam? This foam's better. The drink as a whole, I think Duncan is better. What about you? <laughs> I don't know. Foam on this one's way better. That one has no foam. Look. I just taste a caramel cold brew. I get a caramel cold brew all the time from there. I don't taste a foam. Well, I don't really taste the foam, but the overall coffee drink is better. You're no. in it for the coffee, not the foam. I guess the Duncan one's better. Yeah, I like the Duncan better. I like their caramel better. I never... Yeah, this is a strong caramel taste. This one's like we're gonna like caramel taste. Like, it almost only has like a little bit of caramel. I think they both like have the same amount of caramel. caramel. It's just I've never liked Starbucks caramel. Okay, so for round one, I think Duncan won. <laughs> <laughs> so the next drink we have is a vanilla cold brew with cold foam on top. The Duncan version. Cold already top. there's lack in cold foam. Look at the difference already. The quality of the foam is in Starbucks favor. That's already disintegrating. We got these at the same time five minutes ago. Okay, let's try it. Okay, this one is a lot sweeter and you taste the vanilla a lot more. It's really smooth. Try the Starbucks. I don't know if I like their vanilla. I think I like their vanilla even more. But this is very sweet. Starbucks is not as sweet as Dunkin', that's for sure. I think everyone kind of knows that. This is more, definitely more sugary. I don't know. Cavities. Tastes like cavities. Okay, for Starbucks, I don't really taste their cold foam. Because I taste their cold foam, okay. but Can I don't taste this? their... Yeah, I tried it. The cold foam is better from Starbucks. That's... But the overall drink, I think I like the overall drink from Dunkin' more. I like the Starbucks one more for the vanilla. Because this one is really sweet, and I like my coffee sweet. I do too, and that says a lot if I don't like that one because it's too sweet. What do you think? I think Starbucks is better for the vanilla one. Well, I think Dunkin' is better. I want to say... This one almost tastes like a birthday cake. Yeah, if you want to get like a caffeine boost, I would go with Starbucks. But if you're just going for like a sweet, fun drink, I think Dunkin' would be better. Overall, my favorite drink is the vanilla cold brew with sweet cream cold foam on top. It's really close. I think the caramel one's better from Dunkin', but the vanilla one's better at Starbucks. But really, it's just kind of equal. If you like your stuff sweeter, then Dunkin's the winner for sure. Starbucks, I'm paying an extra dollar probably, but I'm going to get some consistency. Right? Every single time, I know what I'm gonna taste when I go to Star like Starbucks. I can order this, it's gonna taste the same. 
Duncan, you never know. You just never know. So that is it for this week's video. Let us know which one you prefer, Starbucks or Duncan. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know down below what food we should try next. Yep, thank you guys so much. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>